Backyard Barbecues. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, man. We out here in this hot ass desert. That's right, hot ass desert. Um, today I'm just gonna cook some burgers, y'all. I'm gonna try something different. Um, I really don't have too much out here that I can use. However, we're gonna make it. Do what it do. Trying to get ready for this uh, Jaguar game. I know my team is the 49ers, but the Jaguars on fire right now. I root for them too. Um, my quarterback is out for the season, so I'm still rooting for them. However, Jacksonville playing in Kansas City. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. my time. I know it's about three hours before kickoff. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you all the type of ground beef I'm going to use today. Show you all what kind of stuff I get. This is 93% lean ground beef. Uh, you see the price on that if you can't see. About $5 a pack. Yeah, expensive out here. Then I'm going to throw in some Jimmy Dean's, baby. Pork sausage to mix it up and get me a little fat now. Give me a little flavor. Uh, I think that was about, I don't know, $7. So prices out here crazy, y'all. But anyway, oh, let me show you this. I left all my tools at home, so I'm stuck with this thing. I bought this, I think, about $10. Um, for me out here, it's going to do what it do. You know, I use it basically to cook, uh, test my chicken because I don't want to uh, eat nothing, you know, raw. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to show you my seasonings. I'm going to come back and show you my seasonings. I'm going to put onions, bell peppers in it. And we're just going to mix some stuff up. And then we're going to go up top, y'all. And then see what it, uh, uh, see what this uh, Kamado do, y'all. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, everybody. We back, man. I got... Let me show y'all what we use with him. There's some Cajun seasoning that I brought. See, I ain't used too much of it. Back from the crib. Some John Henry's pecan rub. Oh, this is Cajun season for y'all that don't know. And then... uh. My go-to chicken seasoning on uh, pollo. I know this ain't chicken. This thing here tastes awesome on anything you put it on, except for maybe steak. But this right here, you mix that with anything, you good to go. Oh, I got my freshly chopped onions and green pepper. Gonna mix that up. Uh, offset that flavor. I kind of do that too when I'm doing turkey. When I'm mixing turkey with my ground beef. Look how much ground beef I got. Here. Um, yeah, that looks like I might have to cut another green pepper. Uh, but whatever. We're gonna just give it a little, little seasoning. I'm gonna dump a little bit of my John Henry's in now. This that sugary taste, pecan. And then I'm gonna come back with this pollo. I'm gonna mix my green peppers and uh, onions in now. Yeah, I'm gonna need more than that. And then my onions. Y'all see the ratio of onions and green peppers, huh? That don't work. Not for me with this amount of ground beef. Uh, but I'm gonna mix this up, dump some more seasoning in here, form my patties up. I might, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you my patties once I form them up so y'all can see what they look like. And then I'm gonna put them in the freezer. The reason why I do that is um, I want them to get hard before I put them on the Kamado because the Kamado kind of, when you close that, if you don't have any temperatures above 500 degrees, they'll end up being like smoke burgers. And the benefit of smoke burgers, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, is they remain the same size. So we're gonna do this right here. I'm gonna show y'all that process as I go through that. We're gonna go upstairs. It's uh almost getting dark, so I'm gonna have to probably put the night light on. Uh, but we're gonna go through this process because I'm trying to get ready for the game. Um, hadn't lit the grill yet. Got my watchman trying to clean out the outside of it because it's straight dusty over here. But nonetheless, if he ain't did it, we're just gonna go with the flow. Um, and then we're gonna cook. And let's let's go from there. Root for them Jags, and root for my 49ers. You know, they got a decent quarterback holding it down. CJ, um, shout out to my boy, Grop. I know he down, but it's all good. We still holding it together. Well, it's a rebuilding year. But anyway, I'm riding them Jaguars. Hopefully, I'm at the Super Bowl in Atlanta. Um, maybe not at the game, but you know, I always go once a year for Atlanta. I'll be back by the end, so hopefully, I'll be up there so y'all can see me in red form at the Super Bowl tailgating or something, we're gonna figure it out. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and form these panties up and I'll be right back, y'all. Up, oh, y'all, we back, man. I finally got finished. Um, ironically, I got some chicken that I had uh, thawed out. I forgot about it. I need to go ahead and cook it. Might as well throw it on the grill, right? Boop. Um, look at my burgers, y'all. Look at Man, this plate hip is on the Guess what we're gonna call these? Brontosaurus burgers. Y'all know where that come from with the Flintstones, right? But y'all, y'all see, matter of fact, let me give you another look at them. I want you to see the pot, the, uh, let's look at the, uh, the size of them. As you see them now, I'm gonna put them in the freezer, like I said, for about an hour while I light this grill and let it do what it do. 
And then uh, I want you to see when I'm finished the size of the burger, man, when it comes to a Kamado and when you're cooking low and slow versus pure heat. Pure heat is going to shrivel all the fat out of it, make them real small. But if you're trying to feed a lot of people, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, uh, you smoke them and they'll stay stay a decent size, man, and have awesome taste. Uh, especially if you use bell peppers and onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. Um, I'm gonna run upstairs, light my grill. I gotta wait for about 45 minutes to an hour for the temperature to calm down. Might have to wait longer than that because it's hot out here. And you know, the heat from outside, 110 degrees, uh, in association with a hot flame, is probably gonna stay hot longer. So I'm gonna have to manage that, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna have to turn my night light on, like you see now on the, uh, the camera. And then I'm gonna show y'all what we're doing. So just stay tuned. I'll be back on top of the roof, y'all. What's up, Backyard Barbecuers, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue with these Brontosaurus burgers. Yeah. Out right here, as y'all can see, it's about 6.30, about an hour and a half to game time. These gonna be ready to devour about an hour. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave them off about an hour and a half just to see what they do on my temps. At about 300 right now, that's exactly why I need them. Everything is everything. Grill's been cleaned off. Burgers are pretty much, they're not really frozen. Uh, I wish you could hit that sizzle. But I'm gonna throw them on here and I'm gonna show you just this real quick. Just place them on there. I think it's about 11 burgers. Then we'll give you a close up. Called the big boys. I'm just doing this to piss people off around here. They can smell it. Don't know where it's coming from. Unless you uh, got a place, one of these high rises up here where you can see what's going on. Yep. Game night. And I'm off tomorrow too. Winning over here. So that's three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven burgers. Let me give you a close up, cause you know how we do. Try to give y'all more videos. Yeah, ooh, look at them big boys. Hey, now watch the size, y'all. Take a take a picture of that. Click. Oh, let me get y'all back over here real quick. And uh, yeah, let me go on close that because if you're looking, you ain't cooking, and I need this to do what it do, and no, I don't want the temp to go over about about 300. I like the way where it's at right now. Um, the temps I already got it dialed in. The crazy part about this grill is. Over here, like when it gets real greasy, see I don't have a uh, a bucket or something to sit the top in. See the top will pop off, and I can sit it in some kind of degreaser to clean the grease. So it's stuck in the open position. So what I did was I finally heated it up, and I got it to a point where I could move it around, and I opened it up and dialed it in to exactly where about 300 meets at. So this gonna stay like this. I'm not gonna mess with it from now on. Like I don't have it. Like if you see, I can't even move it. The dust is uh, set in. I can't really move it. Um, like I said, I don't have a bucket or nothing like that to sit it in the grease. I mean, sit it in the degreaser, clean it out so I can, uh, you know, make it sure it's uh, operational. I may buy a new one when I come home. Don't know. I got something major for y'all that's going on it behind the scenes in about, what is it, September? October, November, December, January, February. Five months. Watch for my video that's upcoming. That's something major that I'm doing right now behind the scenes. Um, hoping, praying that this go through. And then I'm going to show y'all because we're trying to expand and do something different, y'all. Um, but I'm just having fun, man. Got a couple people downstairs. Uh, working on the essay right now. I'm in school, too. Crazy, right? I'm in school doing my thing. Uh, trying to be an educated barbecue. But, uh, so I can speak uh, intelligently to all my uh, viewers out there. But no, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just me, man. I'm going to talk the way I talk anyway. I'm going to be who I am. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. I wish I could smell these onions. God, dog. But yeah, hour and a half, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show y'all what this product looks like. Show you how these burgers stay close to the same size. Like I said, I added a little fat now with the pork or uh, Jimmy Dean's just to give it a different taste. Trying something different. Um, that's what we do. Mix and match. And I'm going to let you know. You know, I'll be honest with you. If the taste ain't good, throw it up. No. Nah. $5 a pack. Five packs. That's $25 plus a $7 pack of uh, Jimmy Dean's. That's gonna get eight some way. If I got the dog on, put it in the blender and mix it with ketchup, it's going down. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all get to this uh, uh, pre-game while I finish working on my paper. Uh, 
right now I'm going to submit it. I'll tell you more about that as I go along. I'll be in Rhode Island here shortly. I'll tell y'all all about that right now as y'all follow me through my travels. I thank y'all for watching my viewers. Um, root for me. I'm trying to get promoted, y'all. I'm just doing my thing. Um, but anyway, like I said, back to this grilling. I'll be back in an hour and a half, show y'all these burgers, and get y'all on y'all way so y'all can watch this game. Uh, well, by the time y'all see it, the game will be maybe over. I'm trying to upload it as soon as I get done so y'all can see it as y'all watching the game and laugh and, and uh, root for my Jaguars, root for my 49ers. We're already off to a good street. The Gators beat the LSU. Uh, sorry, y'all. Go Gators, baby. Yes, sir. Interception in the last two minutes of the game. Seal the deal. I'm amped up right now. Never have I seen all three teams win in one week. It's either two teams win, one team lose. One team win, two teams lose. All teams lose, but I ain't had a three-peat in a minute. So I'm rooting for that right there just to see what happens. I know, like I said, my 49ers down on their luck. But they playing some scrubs tonight. So we're going to see what happens, y'all. Maybe we can get this three-peat and y'all root for me. Like I said, root for my safe return. Well, return. I'll be in, like I said, I'll be in Rhode Island here shortly, in a couple weeks. Uh, doing my thing there for about three weeks, and I'll tell y'all all about that on uh, another video. But uh, anyway, I'm going to see you on your way. Uh, be back in an hour and a half, y'all, to see these Brontosaurus burgers. Hey, what's up, everybody? We back, man. See all my dusty, dusty uh, side stands or whatever. I don't use them nowhere. Let me tell you. Yep. Still hovering. Hour and about 10 minutes into it. Let's see it. Let's burn the grill. Close up. Fire and desire, baby. Don't hate. Hey, just learn and congratulate. Anyway, I'll be back in the end when I'm done by 30 more minutes and then we're gonna I'm gonna flip these actually. We're gonna come back and then send y'all on y'all way to watch these games, y'all. Later. What's up back y'all barbecue? It's your boy. I'm back. It's still hovering about 300 Been an hour and a half. About to take these jokers off. Break my grill because I don't want them. I still want them juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and then give you a quick picture of it. I don't know if you can see this at nighttime. I didn't realize we had a light out here, but it's all good. Yeah. Brontosaurus burgers. That's how you get more bang for your buck, too, y'all. For y'all El Cheapos out there like me. Them burgers the hard way. Give y'all a close up of that. I got some chicken actually. About to throw on there. Uh, come back and put that on in a minute. Let me give y'all a close up of this. Mm -hmm. Nice like this I wish. Look at that sweat coming off him. Yeah. Anyway, let's go downstairs, y'all, and we'll talk about it. Peace. Hey boo. Hey, before I go, man, I figured I'd let y'all see my uh my boneless, skinless thighs, man. They only gonna take about an hour to cook at 300. Maybe an hour, 15. Well, I just want y'all to see what I'm doing out here, messing around with some chicken that I had thought out. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that one day. But anyway, that's just my concoction. You see the smoke going? Let me close my lid. Anyway, let's go downstairs, y'all, and chop it up real quick. See you on your way. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, man? This your boy, man. We're about to sign off. Got my burgers. Hey. Couldn't even wait. See, I put mine over here. I'm about to, matter of fact, let me slice this thing real quick so y'all can see the juice in this. Look at that. Yeah, let me see if I can get this for you. This got about an hour and 15 minutes, y'all. Yeah, you see your boy? Look at that. I even got a little smoke ring. You see the little... Can you see it? Yeah, let that thing cool off. I'm about to sneak a bite on there. I'm about to put some... Uh, I'm about to wrap this up in aluminum foil. Hey, here's a trick, right? To keep them all from drying out. Because remember, the key, the key to this is if you don't plan on eating them just yet, you want them to sweat it out. So I'm going to stick them in the oven and let them sweat it out. I don't have any aluminum pans. So these things cost like one aluminum pan. Cost about six dollars over here, y'all. That's crazy. So what I'm gonna do is the old traditional style, right? Wrap them up and let them sweat. 
in my uh, my oven. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven and let them sweat. And let them do their thing. Easy day. But anyway, this is your boy from, uh, uh, from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Holla at the boy. Tell everybody. Your boy's back. I'm doing videos. I'm getting closer to the time I'm getting home. So you know you're going to get more videos as I get closer. Um, maybe by the time I get ready to leave, I'm going to have to sh shut it down just because uh, um, I got to clear out my freezer. My little baby freezer. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to try to give y'all as many videos as I can. I got some old ones I'm still uploading. Keep you abreast of what I got going on from the old days leading up to now because I knew I was going to be out here. But anyway, don't forget, like I said, to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. I let your boy go front 49ers and Jags.